Have you ever wondered if there is an easy way to check if your data has been hit in a data breach? Or are you wondering right now, what is a data breach? Well, let's go over that first, and then we'll talk about how you can check to see if you've ever been victim to one, right? So I'm gonna break down what a data breach is in simple terms, right? Because I always like making it really simple for people to understand, okay? So a data breach is any time that a hacker or scammers or whoever's trying to uh, penetrate a server, right? A server being a bunch of computers that these companies have, let's say Amazon, Microsoft, Google, you know, these companies, they have huge rooms with a bunch of computers that store user data, like your user data and my user data and everybody who uses those websites or those services, they store the data in these supercomputers, in these big rooms that host the, the, the information, right? So you make an account online, you go to google.com, I'm gonna make a Google account, you fill out the information boom, 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 on your computer, and maybe your computer says, hey, do you wanna save the username and the password on your computer for this website? You say, yeah, of course I do, boom. Tsh. So you're done, you make the account, information goes to the other side. Well, their big supercomputers go, we're gonna save their email address, their password, their phone number, their name, first and last name, their address, and whatever information you gave them during sign up or that they can collect about you, they're going to store on their server in those big supercomputers, right? Now, what a data breach is, is when a hacker targets those computers and gets in and steals that data, takes it all. And they don't usually just take yours. They're gonna take yours and mine and everyone who uses that service, right? And they're gonna aim to get things like email address, name, phone number, physical address. Why? Why is because that information can be used to scam you now. Now they can send you phishing emails. Hey, Mr. Smith, we know you live at this address and you ordered this and do you wanna refund? You know, they're gonna use this information to sculpt emails, create emails to make them look legitimate. They're gonna focus on services that they know that you use because they've breached this information, they found it out. So what's really scary about this is this is out of our control, okay? We can't go over there and stand outside of the Google building with a spear and stop these guys. They're not even coming in the front door, okay? They're coming in through cyberspace, all right? They're going into those computers and taking everything right over the internet, you know? Nothing we can do about that. We can't set up a firewall around Google's servers that they don't already have. They've already invested into their security. Whatever the company has is what they have. We have to hope it's enough. Not every company invests the same amount of money into their security. So of course, not all companies are going to go to have the same level of security or whatever around that user information. So we have to be really careful about who we give this information to. And that's why it's so important when online to think about something before you sign up for it. Is it worth my information being out there in their servers where it can be taken, right? And knows is the company going to value my data as much as I do that's something that we all need to ask ourselves when creating online accounts but some of us are stuck with it right because we all know anything you do online now or maybe you don't even go online it requires an account doctor's appointments dentist appointments to even be a patient with them sometimes you have to have some sort of online account Heck, even to be a VIP member down at your local grocery store, you usually have to have some sort of an account, right? Or I've even had jobs that you had at my current job, I have to have online accounts. You have to ADP, right? So like you have to have online accounts for many, many things out there. And you're gonna have to have this information stored on their servers. And the unfortunate part is we all do it. It's all something we have to do. We're all in the same uh, a boat on this one essentially all of us put our user our information out there as users on the servers that these companies have and we have to trust that they're going to protect our data and sometimes they can't sometimes they don't or the hackers just get around what they have for security and get in or maybe they have an internal breach whatever it it happens okay so when this happens they have to report it we hope they report it they are supposed to report it and that information is shared online so there's a website that you can go to we're going to check this out i'm going to jump over to a website called have i been pwned.com have i been pwned.com is pretty awesome so from here what you can do is you can plug in your email and if you've been breached like this one has it's an older email of mine 
I don't really use it anymore because of how many times it has been breached and how much junk email I get on it. Uh, it's an old burner email that I used to use when I was younger, but you can see it's been hit in multiple breaches. And they've gotten information such as email address, password, usernames, things like that. Uh, luckily, never um, real name. This one phone number back in 2019 probably don't even have the same phone number anymore so i'm not that worried about it but it can be kind of scary when you get here and you see all these results right so what can you do well to be honest the only thing that you can do the information's already gone you can't get the information back that's the unfortunate part and i hate having to tell people that because they go whoa what like i can't do anything oh no you can what you can do is identify the accounts that were hit and then you can go change the passwords for those accounts right that's the best you can do or maybe even delete the account if you're not using it anymore, whatever. Those are your options. You can either delete, remove the account, but a password change is an absolute must. You're gonna wanna go and change the password for those specific accounts. And if you're having trouble creating a strong password, go check out our last video about creating strong passwords and storing them, and where we go over uh, creating strong passwords in depth. So. This is awesome though. I wanted to show you everyone this. Everyone should be aware of this website and how to check their email. Now, of course, on the flip side, I've got another email that we'll run through here and I am blanking these out because I'm sorry, I don't want a million emails to these. But look at that one, boom, good news. No ponage found. So maybe you'll get the green light. This is a good sign. But if you get the red one and you have a bunch of results that you're not sure about, please reach out to us. We can help you out with that. We can teach you how to keep your accounts uh, safe online, right? And then again, like I said, if you're having trouble with passwords, go check out our password video. Thank you, everyone. Please like and subscribe before you leave the video. If you have any comments or you're confused about your results from haveibeenpwned.com, comment below and we'll talk about it. Thank you, everyone, and see you on the next one.